welcome back to my channel. Facebook used to be a, well, it still is. It's a social platform. And when it first started, uh, I liked it. Um, There's a lot of things that I like about Facebook still. Um, you know, I was able to keep in touch with uh, friends that lived afar from me that I haven't seen in a long time. So we kept contact this way. Um, you know, the whole FaceTime uh, thing. This is just amazing to me um, that I was able to do that and remain in contact with my family when we were in the States. And to for whoever uh, wants to share the business out there for people to see, I think that's wonderful that you can share your business and get people to know what you're doing. And so there's a lot of good things about Facebook and uh, what it represents. Now I'm going to go and tell you guys why I'm no longer on it. And if I were to sum it up into uh, one or two words would probably be focus and priority. That's it. The main number one reason why I'm no longer on it is because I want to focus on uh, my YouTube channel, my Rumble channel. I want to focus on those things um also more along the lines of i want to keep encouraging moms out there encouraging them um to, for homeschooling to be a homemaker because i think it's so important and um i want pe moms out there to know that it is doable and that it is not as hard as society makes it to be. So, cause it is such a blessing to be a homemaker and to be able to homeschool your children. And, um, you know, that family unit, it's just something that I want to keep on sharing and hopefully help anyone out there who thinks to do the same. Ever since Facebook took place and, and not everybody does this. Um, but I think that there's human connection missing. Um, children nowadays are more on their phone and their uh, computer screen or than they are actually having a conversation with people outside to get to know people to get to know their body language you learn a lot from someone from their body language uh, from their face facial expression all that it's so important and um, I and that's an I want my children to experience that. I think we lost it a little bit in this society and the world that we live in now. It seems like, not to mention everything that happened since 2020, we won't go into that, but I'm just saying there's a lot of things that um, made me change my mind on me being on a social media platform that way. So human connection is very important to me and I want my children to experience life and all that comes with it. The experience of having actually somebody talking to you and say, hey, do you want to go hang out? Um, let's go watch a movie together. All these things that you don't need a phone to do. And now it seems it's more like, oh, I'll text somebody and make sure they're okay. Or I'll send them a message. Um, when I grew up, it was we would knock on someone's door bring them fruits or bake a pie or if we needed milk or sugar or eggs we would knock at the neighbors and the neighbors would knock at us and you had this grandma staring at the window watching everything that happened in the neighborhood now it's, it's i'm not sure there's still some out there but it used to be like that and now it's more everything needs to be put on facebook from the morning you get up till you go to bed at night and please don't get me wrong. I have nothing against people who do who does that. And if they want to do that, and they live a and they're healthy and they have a balanced life, and they're they that's great, good for them. I just did not want to be in it anymore, and my children to live that way. So that's another reason um, why I am no longer on the Facebook platform. And time. It's so much time and it's so addicting and people don't realize, I didn't realize how much time I would spend on Facebook until I actually look, you can actually check 
how much time you spend on Facebook, for example. And it was blo it's mind blowing. All this time that I wasted on there, I could have done something so much more productive. Whether we want to accept it or not, Facebook is an addictive platform. It's like you want to know the next news feed. You want to see how much like you have on a picture. I want more of a real face-to-face -face friendship. And not to say that I don't agree with friendship online because I have made so much good friendship online and I'm so thankful for them. And I do still appreciate all of them because so many are still online and they follow what I do and I love them so and I'm so thankful for it. And then, and again, it's not to say that um, it's a bad thing uh, to be on there. If you can balance that social media platform to have to be healthy on it and not spend too much time on it, good for you. Um, for me, in all sincerity, it was time for me to take a break from it. And I did. And I am so grateful that I did. The first time I deleted my Facebook account, what do you think I did the next morning? I pick up my phone and I was going to go on Facebook because that's what you do. You don't even realize that you're picking up your phone every time to look at what's out there. So it took like a few days for me to get over that and um, to realize that I was not on it anymore. And you know, as days go by, I realized that was wonderful for me not to have to be on my phone all the time. So this is me sharing my thoughts and, and why I'm not on it. I am not saying anything um, bad about people that are using Facebook. I think it's a personal choice, it's a personal decision, and you do whatever is best for you and your family. And for me, it was time for me to get off it. I want to focus more on doing uh, something more productive for me and my family. So it, to sum it up, this would be the reason why. Again, focus, priority, um, and the fact that we live in a society now that it's just very different from what it used to be. And I think that we are losing important things on how to even communicate with one another uh, in person like we used to. And I don't want my children to lose that. I want them to have that ability to be able to read people, um, just having a friendly conversation, people getting to know people that way. I think it's so important and I want to try to focus more on that side of thing with my family right now. Um, although I am, and because I do vlogs and YouTube and, and I have email, uh, I'm still on the social platform and I still keep in touch with many of my wonderful friends that are online and again, I'm so thankful for them. There's ways that I still communicate with them and that's great. I don't want to cut that off. I just don't want to be on that on that platform like I used to be. So just wanted to share that with you guys and also to make like understand that it was just a personal choice for me. And I got to say, I am very good. Guys, there is a life after Facebook. There is such a thing. It exists. You know, there was a life before Facebook. There is a life after Facebook. Um, you don't need to be on Facebook every day. I think since I've been off, I've been doing more of a phone call, you know, calling a friend to check up on them and see how they're doing, actually visiting people, um, doing things together, more of a contact one-on-one -on -one person. So, um, and it's been great. It's been wonderful. I'm able to prioritize more, um, as far as my children and spend time with them and play more, um, to know each other and, and know family and um, so all these things this is it, it, it's nice and there's other ways to keep in touch with people so that's it for today this is all it's like a, a little a glimpse of why I am no longer on Facebook and I could go into so many details and so many other things of why I'm not on it but I don't think it's necessary this is the gist of it and um, I'm very thankful for all of you out there who have subscribed to my channel on YouTube and Rumble. 
and, and who listens to what I do. I appreciate you all so much. So if you do like this kind of content, and this is not like a usual content for me, this is just an outside thing. I will focus more on homeschooling and family life and homemaking and all that wonderful stuff in my next vlog. Um, reorganizing, spring's coming, so I'm very excited about cleaning and having things organized. If everyone, if you haven't noticed already, or if you don't know me, I love to be organized. So I do organize my house and I like it that way. So I'll share all kinds of projects that I have on the go with you guys. I'll also share a few things about what's coming up in the next, in the summer and how we're going to do our school for the summer. Um, so if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and um, hit that little notification bell as well. So that way when I have another vlog coming up, you'll be able to see it. On that note, I do wish you a wonderful week. I hope you're having a good time and that you're taking care of yourself and just spend a little time about human contact. I think it's so important just to have that human connection. On that note, we'll talk next time.